Praise the Lord with me, somebody. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome to our study of understanding the times. We are now in sign 12. Idol worshippers. Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this unique opportunity you have given us to come before your presence and examine your word. Lord, as we do so, let us be doer of your word. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I cover this presentation with your precious blood. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. In the world today, people worship idols in different ways. For example, man worship. Some people worship man. Self worship. Some people worship themselves. Idols in their heart. Some people have idols in their heart. Something that they attach themselves to. They attach their, their hearts to. Some people worship money. Money worship. Some people worship images. So let's look at the first one. Man worship. Luke 4, verse 8. And Jesus answered and said unto them, or and said unto him, I mean to say, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou save. So this scripture is revealing that only the Lord God Almighty should be worshipped. Unfortunately, today many people worship themselves. They see themselves as superior human beings. They see themselves as being superior to others. But we are all the same. There is no difference between us. Because we are all human beings. We are who we are only by the grace of God and nothing else. So man worship is of the devil. Some people worship, you know, their preachers or their, or their pastors, some people worship their parents, some people worship their political leaders, some people worship uh, professors, some people worship their mothers or their fathers or their parents, some people worship their children, some people worship you know, their friends, so people worship man in different ways. Man worship is of the devil. So have nothing to do with man worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Self-worship. Some people also worship themselves. They think that they are better than other human beings. They think that, you know, they are superior than other human beings. As I said a while ago, we are who we are only by the grace of God and nothing else. Some people have idols in their hearts. Let's look at Ezekiel 14, verse 3. Ezekiel 14, verse 3. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling, the stumbling block of the iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all? By them. So the Lord is saying that these people have set up idols in their heart and that she, he listened to such people who have set up idols in their hearts. Ezekiel 14, verse 3. Today we have multitudes of people around the world who have idols in their hearts. In the church, we have multitudes of people in the church who have idols in their hearts. People are not only worshipping man today, people are not only worshipping themselves today in, the, in these last days they are also having idols in their hearts how do we know because their attitude their behavior reveal that they have idols in their heart they have many things in their heart that they attach themselves to may you not be one of them in jesus name to some people money is their god the worship of money Let's look at 1 Timothy 6, verse 10. 1 Timothy 6, verse 10. 
for the love of money is the root of all evil, which why some converted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Many people today in these last days have a lot of sorrows. They are sorrowful. Why? Because they love money. And money cannot buy everything. Money cannot buy happiness. Money cannot buy life. Money cannot buy joy. Money cannot buy true love. The love of money is the root of all evil. And in these last days, people love money. People are deceived to love money more than their, their souls. Some people have sold their souls to Satan because of money. If you're one of them, repent in Jesus' name. Repent and forsake such an abomination and return to, to the Lord and He will forgive you in Jesus' name. The worship of images. People worship images in different ways. For example, some people worship monuments. That's why in the various cities, we have monuments everywhere in the various cities. We have uh, statues of different people, of different uh, uh, historical people in, in the various cities around the world. We have pictures of various people that are being worshipped around the world. Even in the church, we have pictures of, you know, of preachers, of uh, church leaders in the church which people worship whether directly or indirectly. Some people in the church, they use handkerchief. Some people use water that they call holy water. Some people use oil that they call holy water. Uh, uh, some people use sand, some people use opera, some people use the magic wand, some people use a chairs. No, they worship the chairs that their church leaders uh, sit on. Is it right? Just so all sorts of abomination go on in the church today. All sorts of worship of images is being seen in the churches today. All sorts of idol worship. Is being seen in the various churches today. The conclusion God is a jealous God. God does not share his glory with anyone. Isaiah 42, verse 8. Isaiah 42, verse 8. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to given images. So we have seen that in these last days, people are worshipping themselves, people are worshipping other people, people are worshipping idols in their heart, people are worshipping money, people are worshipping various images in diverse forms. These are all signs of the end time. This tells us that we are living in the last days. And so we have to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. So open your mind and begin to pray. Pray that God will deliver you from idol worship. You will not worship any man in Jesus' name. You worship other the Lord and the Lord God Almighty alone. You are not going to worship yourself in Jesus' name. You are not going to worship anything in your heart in Jesus' name. You are not going to worship money. You're not going to worship any image in any form in Jesus' name. Open your mind and begin to pray. Pray that you will not worship any man in any way in these last days. You will not worship yourself. You will not worship any image in your heart. Anything that you attach your heart to. You're not going to worship money. You're not going to worship any physical image in any form in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray, and the Lord will have mercy upon you and will deliver you in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity. Lord Jesus, that you have given us to come before your presence and to confess our sins. Lord, deliver us, Lord, from all this abomination, Lord. Be merciful unto us and forgive us, King of glory. Oh, Lord Jesus, from worshiping man, Lord, deliver us from man worship. Let us never again worship any man. Lord, deliver us from self-worship. Let us never again worship ourselves. 
Lord, deliver us from idols in our hearts. Let us never again worship any idol in our heart. Deliver us from the worship of money. Lord Jesus, let us never again love money, Lord, or worship money in any form. Deliver us from, from the worship of images, Lord. Let us never again worship any physical image in any way, in any form. In Jesus' name, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We exalt your name. We magnify your name in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me use this opportunity to admonish you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and just be safe. Because Jesus is the only way. John 14 verse 6. Jesus states categorically that he is the way, the truth and life. And no one cometh unto the Father except through him. Believe on him and you shall be safe in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you until we see you again in Jesus' name. Bye-bye for the moment. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um.